welcome again to activity one um, after the do now. I cannot wait to read your responses to the do now this week, especially the one about your opinion on people who know that they have um, genetic disorders that they can pass down to their offspring when they know they can do that. Is is it okay if they have kids? Yeah, you know, I'm really interested. I don't want to tell you my opinion because I don't want to sway yours in any way. Uh, but um, yeah, I can't wait for that. So anyway, our learning target this week is dun, 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 IQ's probability to predict the chances of inheriting specific traits like those autosomal genetic disorders um, and how healthy adults can still have children with inherited disorders. Uh, this first activity is all about background knowledge and you have three ways that you can do that. You can do our Freyers, a gizmo, or um, Cornell notes. I'm bringing those back digitally. So let's take a look at um, the Freyers first. Really, it's just the terms and the templates that we've been using for several weeks now. Um, but I am requiring that you use our resources from now on. Um, <clears throat> so over here is linked just our digital classroom, right? This is this is our home base. This is where we go for all of our information. At any rate. The third page in our virtual classroom are these resources. So um, these are the four different texts and two different videos. Um, if these don't work for you, reach out to me and I'll see if I can find something else. Um, I mean, use your own stuff, but really this stuff is solid and I'm requiring that you use it. So. Uh, your definition needs to come from one of the resources. And then when you're done typing the definition, you know, definition, da 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 da, da I want you to put in, um, just the number that goes with that link. So like if you get the definition to dominant allele from, from this, study guide, then put a three next to it. If you get the example from the Ed Puzzle, then put a five next to it. Uh, just to hold you accountable for actually using those resources. And use like screenshot and stuff if you can't save the image. If you need help like snipping um, a little image, reach out to me and I'll get a how-to video out to you. Um, so the Freyer is, other than uh, using the resources, specifically, and then annotating them with one through six, which is the number of resources that we have, there's no major change here. Um, the next thing that you could do is the gizmo. Um, there is no video that goes along with this. Uh, I, some of you found these really helpful. Some of you found the way that I set the gizmos up frustrating. Um, this is just the way it looks right off of the website. This is the student handout. Um, this Gizmo with mouse genetics is directly tied to the vocabulary that we're doing right now. So it's a really good choice to build that background knowledge as well. Um, so if you like gizmos, great. If you don't, you don't have to do it this week. And then the last thing that you have a choice to do is, oh, right, the Cornell notes. So uh, here are your Cornell notes. Um, unlike our textbooks, the answers are going to come from various places. One of these six resources. Not all of the answers are going to come from any one resource. So uh, once you answer the prompt over here, at the end, again, put that number where you found the answer. Um, and that's it. These are, again, Cornell notes like we've done for a long time. The only major, major difference here, and there's two of them, is one, I've provided you these sort of props or questions in the past you've done that. And then over here, I am requiring you tell me which of the six resources you got that answer from. Um, because in the past, we've just done it from the textbook. So the, all of the answers came from the book, right? Um, so that's it. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, and I hope that having some choice as to which of these routine assignments that you get to do gives you some relief and um, hopefully some, some joy. Maybe you'll even like it. All right. Have a good day. Bye.